When, when using an attorney, attorneys charge what's called a contingency fee, and, and that's 20% of a retroactive back payment. So a lot of times veterans call saying, I don't have money for an attorney, can you help me? The answer is an emphatic yes. And it's a nice area of law to be in because a lot of these veterans don't have money. The, the, way, the, the way a contingency fee works is if a veteran files for a claim, call it service connection for diabetes, and that diabetes is denied. And then four years down the road, after going through all the appeal lanes, we successfully get service connection for diabetes. The VA is going to say, in many cases, okay, we're going to pay you X amount of dollars for all those months you should have received it. And that's called a lump sum back payment. That lump sum back payment quantified, let's say they get a, an $80,000 back payment. We're going to take 20% of that $80,000. And the VA will actually take that out themselves. And they'll put it in a, in a trust fund, so to speak. And then the veteran will have due process if they don't agree with our attorney fees. They have due process of 60 days to appeal our attorney fee rights. Now, 20% has been deemed per se reasonable by the Office of General Counsel and Regulation. So 20% will, if not ever, it's rarely ever going to be um, found to be unreasonable. But that 20% will be taken off the top of an $80,000 back payment. So we would get our $16,000 which would be withheld from the attorney's back payment. And it's nice because the, v the veteran doesn't have to pay us out of with a big check or something. That money's just withheld and the, v and the veteran never has to think about paying the law firm directly.